them. We're in qualifying here and commentary for the first time in ages, and it's wet for the first bit. And we make a utter mistake coming out of turn two, and that's on the out lap, of course. And then on the um, actual lap, we see track limits, and then you see it dries up. We're just seeing the end of each lap because why would you not want to see it? Then we are only just getting the lap at the end, uh, ten seconds in. And then a second up on our time, and we are in fifth. Now, qualifying was still, you know, not going to skip too much, or going to skip loads. We're in the race, but not. And there's a good reason for this, but we're in fifth, and um, our basically rival, or not really a rival, but the person who's in our league, Schlumpf, is in ninth. Now, this race is legendary. And you see a very good, you know, starting sequence here. Five red lights and away we go. So, if you look on the top left, you can see the out shot. But right now on our right, we've got here Adley. Up our inside, we're braking a bit later than usually would, but not really. And then we're just along the outside of him, or her. And yeah, they get the better exit there. We've got Schlumpf up our inside. Somehow, we've made a ballistic start, obviously. Hianli's still up on our inside now. We're on the outside, just have to continue position there, just because we were right on their gearbox. Uh, so yeah, basically, this race is a stonker, I'll have you know, and I will be, you know, foreshadowing this. But it's mainly for the first five laps, and then of course, it's poor card, so you can't really race after, a cert, after the f first pit stops, really, because you're bunched up. Because of natural pace rather than being able to keep with each other but anyway let's not moan about the great design of this track and let's just focus on the present so Hyanli is obviously a bit struggling because well they're a bit all over the place this track is very much about flow as Jeff says in your email on career mode each time you go to the track and every time you go to the track but anyway so we're right on their gearbox now they're defending to the inside, we're going to try and go around the outside, but there's just literally no grip there. You get sucked off onto that eye-hurting blue lines. You know, why are they there? But to slow down, which they don't really do, it's a lie. But, we're right on their chuff now. We're going to go for that dive bomb there. Not really fully attacking though, they go really wide, and we just take the exit perfectly there. That's an absolutely kidding move, that. If, if you just make the person really just mess up their race a bit, then that's the perfect way to go. So then, there's just constant, like, two-wide battles there. Like, poor regard, do you think it's a boring track? And it is. It very much is a boring track. However, it's good when it is good. Um, just because it's basically a straight line with corners there, and it should be entirely straight on without that chicane there, because then you get like two moves at once, but anyway. Um, so now, that corner is entirely about the exit pretty much, the entry to it, sure you want a lot of speed, but you don't want to compromise that exit, you really want to shift up early, and right now we've got Hanley up our inside, really going well here, both of us, both of us having grip, I'm still around his, his or her outside, and, well, we have to sort of concede position at the end of that move. We've got a slump up for inside, but now we're right back up inside Handley, but no, we're not. But around there, you really... That was some brilliant racing for both of us, not hitting each other somehow, which is honestly a big surprise, just because there's a lot of undersear through there. There's obviously a good communicational pace between us, because otherwise we would be going into each other, which is obviously not ideal. For racing, as many people would know. But anyway, they go really wide there. I think they were having constant issues with turn one and the braking zone. I'm not going to say where the braking zone is because otherwise they could be watching. Uh, but anyway, so we just go cleanly around the outside there. That corner, I quite like it. I like that chicane. I like the first chicane as well for some reason. But the rest of the track is pretty naff. But anyway, now we've got DRS on us, or against us. Which would be very good in Hyanli Schlumpf's 
and there's a third person in the back, I can't remember the, who they were. But Hanley's up or inside now. Really, you would expect that move to be done and dusted, but we break so much later than them because they have to be on the inside. And they have to break earlier. And then we just get a good exit there. They do as well, though, which is an issue, obviously, because they didn't have to focus on anything else but that exit because they were cleanly ahead because we were on the outside and um, we were basically doing what Ricardo did in this actual Grand Prix. Um, but yeah, so basically Schlump's right on us. There's another, there's a third person in the back who's right on Schlump, and we're right on Hayanli. So we all go a bit wide there, me and Hianli. I don't know whether Schlumpf did, because obviously the indicators don't really tell you. And um, yeah, so basically, through there you want to go wide and then in, which uh, Hianli wasn't really doing, because uh, it's just pers personal preference, really. Um, what's quicker? So now we've got DRS for once uh, again against Hianli, and then Schlumpf's also kept behind because we have DRS. Hianli again goes wide there. Not good for them at all. Goes wide again there. That's definitely a track extending warning. I can tell that for a fact. I don't know what they were doing there. Seriously, what were they doing? I don't know if they're on control or something. But yeah, that was a bit sketchy. Now we're cutting back to excellent editing. And that move there was so close. I don't think Hayani saw that move coming. But it did happen. And it was brilliant. Jeff is actually admitting that for once. He always says you're a scum. But not this time for once, which is, I love that from Jeff. I really do like when Jeff's for you. And we're seeing another bit of accident editing. Too wide with Schlumpf there. We just are getting a good exit, sliding out of it there. Almost hitting Schlumpf. But of course, he gets a better run there. Because he's got the inside line there. And it's way nicer to be on that line. And then, right here, again, we're breaking earlier than Schlumpf. Schlumpf gets a lot, a lot, a lot of slide there. Very lucky not to just go spearing off. But he catches it well. He catches it well. Or she. No, I think it's a he, though. Um, but, yeah. So, that's going very well for us. Very well for him. And then, Hianni's still at the front of the pack. They're either in the middle or in second, basically, in this pack. Or the lead. Um, Neil is getting very playful in the back now. They're going to have their showing of their pace and their moves. So then we see in front of us a move happening, but it doesn't really lead to anything. However, obviously, another mistake from Hanley there. Obviously a common one for them. They need to break a bit early, I will just say that. So then Schlumpf's just up on him, and then he just backed out of that move, really. Um, then... Hianli's still going wide, um, which is still brilliant because it allows all of us, you know, tail off of each other. So now I finally have DRS down this straight, and well, you're just gonna see what it's like to have DRS for once. So Schlumps up there inside, we're going around there outside, breaking a hundred meter board. You usually be breaking a bit later than that, however, we're around the outside and. Um, very much Ricardo there, and if we didn't back out, we would have had an almighty crash there, spinning and uh, wing damage, which wouldn't have been fun. But yeah, so this is sort of where the battle is sort of ending, because, um, you know, I think Hayanli's going to pit on this lap. But they're understeering quite a lot through there, or maybe they're just keeping on throttle for a bit longer. You never know. But they're very slidey through there, very slidey. Um, it's not really what you want. To be honest, sliding out is not the best way to do it. And they're boxing right now. Through the new pit lane, which was added, I think it was it was like a month after release of the game. Which was quite good from Cody's. But they need to update a few other tracks, you know. But um, Neil's up right on a chuff. And then, I don't know who that is behind him. I think that's, yeah, that's the one who boxed, who is in running in the top three, um, before the stops, and we're going to box this lap, box this lap, um, as Jeff is telling us, uh, so it's Shad, he seems like a real Shad, obviously supporting the, um, Antoine Hubert in his name, which, um, is still sad, it will, it will always be sad, and I, they're, 
uh, conditions on um, Korea are looking better now. But anyway, um, yeah, so let's box up now. And we're coming out to lap 16 now. Seeing he only make a mistake on the exit there, which is quite easy to do. But you know, you should really sh be shifting up earlier when your tyres are going. Um, even if your tyres aren't going, you should be shifting up quite early there. Otherwise, you will compromise your exit. We see Schlumpf boxing for softs and just freight training us, really. That's, yeah. He just freight trained us. What can we do? And then he just shows the soft speed. So I decided, let's take a plunge on the softs, see whether we can make up the time that he did. Because he made like four seconds on us, on that, that plus like the one and a half seconds he had to make up to overtake us. So now we're going up the inside of Gwyn, I think that's pronounced. But don't, don't be offended by that if it's wrong. But yeah, so we make that move stick. Um, I thought I could have been a bit scummy there, but I don't think I was. I think I was fully in the right to sort of take the racing line there, because I was way up the inside there. But then you see Fizzymon, who's also on the softs. I don't know when they stopped. They must have stopped uh, not very long ago, because you know, they weren't in front of the other two. Maybe they were. Maybe they pitted ages ago. You never know, you really. This is a race. I was sorry for blabbering a bit as well. It's been a while since I've done a bit of commentating. But we are in the DRS zone, which is also always very nice. It's very nice being that DRS, you know. Um, but the one issue I had through the entire race, you can't see it. I'll quickly explain as well why my um, cockpit view and that has changed. It's based because I've been using my phone as basically my dash, so it's less needed to actually have. Um, my see my steering wheel a lot and oh my giddy arm and he is absolutely just taking out um, the Ferrari which I did sort of see happening because it was looking a bit sketchy there um, yeah I can't really comment, in, comment on it but they ended up spinning out I'm pretty sure anyway or doing something on the straight which is really weird but um, in the end it was coming very close to Schlumpf and of course, he's in my league, and I really wanted to get that move on him at the end. I was really catching him. I caught him by like 10 seconds in the end, because he span or something. But as you see, another bit of brilliant editing, and that's the end of the Grand Prix. And yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, that was a brilliant race. And um, like and subscribe.